Ronin Pawn! Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Kerbal Space Program, not 90O! It's the beta, people! KSP has gone beta! It's easy! It, it, thank you! Thank you very much! Thank you, yes. Your praise has been noted and is duly deserved. Thank you very much. Is that for me or for KSP? Regardless, okay, this is the beta, and if you were wondering, this beta is beta than ever. It's beta than ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that pun. That was, I was contractually obliged. Squad said, you gotta use it. I said, all right, fine, I'll do it. I won't do it anymore, though. Won't do it anymore. Beta than ever! First off, let me introduce you to your new starter home, the Tier 1 Kerbal Space Center. Now, this property is suitable for no more than five active Kerbinauts, who at present do refuse to go on EVA outside of Kerbin's atmosphere or plant flax. A, a bit disgruntled at the bungalow-style housing, I think. Ships built in the VAB and space plane hangar will be limited to a part count of 30, and the launch pad supports a weight of no more than 18 tons without voiding the warranty. The new tracking station will provide you with basic orbital trajectory data, including your apoaps and periapsis in flight but has not the processing power to support the use of maneuver nodes we do apologize. Nor has it the ability to project changes in trajectory when anticipating encounter with other gravitational bodies like, say, the moon. New science purchases at the R&D are limited to no more than 100 points per transaction at this time, and if you ask Mortimer of the administration's building to handle more than one marketing strategy, well, he just falls to pieces, the poor lad. Finally, as Gene Kerman of Mission Control has been asked to work his magic in the sub-basement of a 300-square-foot bomb shelter, no more than two missions may be added to the flight manifest at a go. Well, that's the tour, so if you'll just sign here, and here, initial there, uh, on the back now, uh, one more signature here. Excellent! We'll have a notary stamp that, and here are the keys to your brand new Tier 1 Space Center. Do call us again when you find the funds to upgrade. Oh, and I just want to tell you both, good luck. We were all counting on you. Are you done with it, Pawn? Are you done with it? Are you done with your little scripted radio play shenanigans? And are you ready to just play the game and talk to the people straight? Is it through? Are you done, son? Yes, yes, I am. Are you sure? Yes. Good boy, good boy. Hello, people. I am the Ronin Pawn, and now that we're through with that bit, um, I'm here in Mission Control, I'm gonna pick up the first two missions, and let's actually play a bit of the beta, here in the pre-release video. Okay, popping into the VAB now, there's a lot to show off that's new in the VAB. First off, Werner von Kerman is up in my grill. Listen, Werner, I'm in charge of this channel, I'm showing these people around, I don't need you, I've got it! Oh shoot, I hope he wasn't telling me anything important. So first off, here's the new VAB internals for Tier 1. A uh, little threadbare, a little empty, just kind of a big box building. Uh, you know, you, you don't have a lot of money in the program at this stage, so you're just getting by, you're just making do. Lots and lots of Kerbals, apparently we, we can always afford more little green men to walk around looking busy and doing absolutely bugger all. You've no doubt already noticed the new parts layout over here. This is now sortable by name, mass, cost, and size, okay? They've also separated out the fuel tanks from the engines, which is kind of cool. Um, if you enable the advanced mode by clicking here, you get all these filters. You can actually filter the parts by module type, resource type, manufacturer, and tech level. That's actually going to be pretty convenient for those of you running lots of mods uh, to be able to go in there and say, I can't remember where that part was. What, what sort of thing was it? It was a data transmitter, and then you can pull up just the data transmitters. They've also put in an add custom category feature here, so you can actually make your own tab. So let's say I wanted to make a tab for just just SRBs, okay? We're just going to have oops, it's, it's all capital. No, not all capitals. There you go. Just the SRBs. All right, so now I've got this tab here. It's empty. So what I would do is come up here, grab the thing that I want, okay, I'm gonna have just SRBs, go back to my new SRBs tab and drag this into the custom category drop zone, and boom, I just put the SRB in there. I could create collections of the parts I use most often, I could organize things the way I want to, this is, this is pretty neat, I think we're all going to have our own custom tabs very shortly. We've also got some new little gadgets and widgets up here, and the first one I'm going to show you is Rotate. So now we have a visual representation of rotation. We don't have to do it all at the keys, we can just pull this up. I'm going to make sure Angle Snap is on, and there you go. You can rotate uh, visually instead of just having to do it at the keypad. We've also got a new little gadget up here called Offset. So that does what it sounds like it would do. It translates uh, your part 
to a certain level of velocity, so I can just pull it along any axis that I want, and it's still technically connected to that part. Um, this, this is weird. I'll be honest with you, this one's weird. I don't, I don't know exactly how this is useful. I don't know what people are going to be able to do with this. I can now build off of the offset part. I, I kind of think that the KSP devs might have just thrown this in just to see what Danny2462 is going to come up with in terms of ways to break the game using the offset feature, because this one, you, you guys are going to have to explain to me how this is going to be helpful to building spacecraft. The one that you're not going to have to explain to me is the reroute function. Now, if you've worked with um, subassemblies at all before, you know you build a subassembly, and then when you get done, you try to attach it to a ship, and it doesn't attach because the root part is buried, and you have to attach it via the root part. Well, that's been a problem for a long time. It's not a problem anymore because we've got a reroute thing here, reroute tool. So what you do is you click this, and then you select the part or parts that you want to reroute to the new route, and I've just turned the SRB into the root part now. I can actually take off the command uh, pod there and just toss it away. This is going to be really helpful for your, your, your building of your things in general. The thing, thing building is going to be great because of the reroute. Offset, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. What, what do you do with that? Reroute, yay. Let's actually build a ship. Let's run the first couple of missions. Do I have the first couple of missions? Yes. Launch a new vessel, achieve an altitude of five kilometers. Okay. So, what do we need for that? Well, an SRB will be more than enough for five kilometers. Uh, whoever's flying that is going to appreciate it if I put a parachute on. Probably going to be Bill. I, I like me the Bill, and he likes the, 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 the living. Um, yeah, general experience with Bill, he's a big fan of not getting killed. Uh, I don't, I don't really usually do that for him. I'm also going to, um, I'm going to put on some of these modular, uh, girder segments, okay? And I'm going to use them as some, yeah, some landing struts. Because I want everything to come back in one piece that I can have come back in one piece. So that I can recollect the funds from the parts that I'll be able to reuse. Ship is staged, let's choose our Kerbal. Now, Kerbals now have classes in Not90O, so we've got pilots, we've got engineers, and we've got scientists. Uh, pilots are going to give you stabilization features as well as be able to hold onto indicators on your nav ball. So, uh, depending on their level, I believe at level 1, Jebediah will be able to hold on the prograde or the retrograde. Bill Kerman being an engineer, uh, he's not a pilot, he has no stabilization, he can't run SAS for you, he can't lock, he can't help you with your nav ball at all. What he can do is he can repack your parachutes, he can fix your broken landing legs, and he can uh, patch a, a popped tire, if that comes up. But he does need quite a few levels to be able to do those things. Bob Kerman, being a scientist, has absolutely no usefulness. We all hate you, Bob. Leave. Now, Bob Kerman, being a scientist, he gives you plus 5% to any science that he collects um, per level that he has. So if he's at level 2, then that would be 10% increase to science from Bob. I am going to take Bill, because Bill's my man, Bill's my bro, Bill is my secret, the secret lover. Welcome to the new uh, launch pad, such as it is, uh, if you can call it that. It's kind of just a, it's a dirty, dirty piece of concrete in the middle of a middle of an area away from other things. I guess that's, that you know that's, that that qualifies as a launch pad. If we are going to be actually playing the game, Vaughn, then let's collect some science. Let's get Bill out and let's grab ourselves some EVA. Bill is only going to be able to EVA while he's in Kerbin atmosphere. If you go into space, he can't get out of the ship anymore. No one can get out of the ship until you upgrade the, uh, I believe it's the astronaut complex. I am ready to go. Bill, are you ready to go? <laughs> okay, good, Bill. Uh, Houston, how are you doing? What? Houston, where are you? There's no tower for you to be in. Where are you, Houston? I'm here, Vaughn. I'm in mission control with Gene. With Gene? What, what are you doing hanging out with Gene? Well, he makes a pretty good cup of coffee, so, you know, I like the company. F fine, okay, whatever. Can you give us a countdown, sir? Sure, sure. Lift off in three, two, one, fire! And we're away on our little SRB, having done uh, yet another little silly radio play off the cuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you very much. Oh and look, we've already cleared one contract, which was launch a new vessel. We need to achieve an altitude of five kilometers, bing, we've hit that mark. What's next, Bill? What's next? It looks like maybe wetting your pants is next for you. 
Okay, Bill's at the top of his Apple apps now. Why don't you not get out? Not get out. Why did I do that? Don't get out. You've already got that data. What you can do... <laughs> what you can do is take another crew report, okay? And we'll just keep this one. We've already transmitted the first one. And then we'll just continue falling back. Look at you very happy, despite the fact that I just risked your life popping out of the pod for no reason at 14 kilometers. Bill Kerman is plummeting like a bomb toward the Kerbal Space Center. I think I should probably time warp down. Flip him over. I think Bill would appreciate this if he didn't die on the first mission. Oh, are we gonna land on the VAB? Oh, please land on the VAB. On top of the VAB. I would so love you if you landed on the VAB. Pop that parachute. Okay, 500 meters up. Are we going to do it? Let's get on the corner of the VAB. Oh, shoot. If we are on the corner of the VAB, we're probably gonna go right over the edge and blow everything up. Oh. Oh, no. No, Bill. No. No, what have you done, son? You've ruined it all. You've ruined it all. It's the first mission. You've already screwed everything up. Bill. Bill. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Okay. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. We are on top of the VAB. That's awesome. I love that. That's great. Um, can we take it? We can't take a crew report because we don't have the... I can, however, get Bill out. Can I get Bill out? Is the, the hatch is obstructed. Can I spin it over? Can we spin it over? No, we can't. And I can't get you out, can I? Oh, you got out. Bill squeezed... Where are you, Bill? Bill, Bill is somewhere in the building right now. Bill, Bill, you can take an EVA report. Wonderful. Okay, you're flying over Kerbin's show. We've already got that data, Bill. I wanted... No, 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 no. Cancel. You know, oops, cancel. Let's see if we can't get him off the, um... Off the... Oh, no, no, Bill. Bill, uh, you're inside the building. Okay, glitch the game a bit. Glitch the game a bit. You, did you know that you were watching Danny's channel? Are you inside there, Bill? Bill's inside the VAB. I managed to get Bill inside the VAB. Oh, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. On the Not90 pre-release video, I've managed to glitch Bill into the inside of the VAB. You know, the one rule for media collab uh, people is on the pre-release videos, don't show bugs. Don't show bugs, everyone. <laughs> this isn't a bug. This is the fun of KSP. Bill, uh, see if you can get an EVA report from inside Yes, overwrite the existing EVA. Yes, I want an EVA report from within the VAB. That's, that is momentous. A momentous occasion here in the pre-release video. Bill, high five. High five. Up top. Up top, Bill. Now he, he's just gonna leave me hanging. All right, all right. Let's just, let's just recollect you. Okay, Bill has gained us 7.4 science. That's very nice for you. And Bill has earned himself one XP. Yes, the Kerbals are going to earn experience points and level up as you go. Bill's got one XP, he just needs one more to get to level one. Uh, we also need to recollect the ship that we left on top of the VAB, uh, which is returning us 9.9 .9 science. And, okay, since we um, were at the main VAB, since we were on top of the building, we get a 98% return of our funds for everything that we didn't use. So everything sands the fuel we used to go up and come down, we get a 98% return on that. Brilliant! Now that we have completed the first mission, I can show you some of the other types of contracts that are going to come up in the Mission Control Center. This is um, visual surveys. They're sort of like waypoint missions. They're going to be asking you to do a certain kind of science uh, at a certain altitude or on the surface, in a certain area, basically. You may be wondering, okay, well, what does this mean? Where is area LV0DZ4? Well, let's pop back out and head over to the tracking station. I will show you area LV whatever it is. So this is a area Lovids 4. Lovids 4. So you've got these little ticks now that are going to indicate where your waypoint missions are on Kerbin's surface. Very cool. Now, these new contracts are actually integrated from a mod called Fine Print that was available for KSP. It's now part of the game. It's been tweaked a little bit to be part of the game, but you're going to see some really, really cool contracts come up as you play the game, including but not limited to satellite deployment missions, building space station missions, asteroid recovery missions, building space stations on asteroids you have recovered missions. There's some really cool contracts that are in KSP now, give you a really good reason to run out and get your science and build things up uh, and get to the point where those contracts are going to unlock for you. So I have played ahead a bit in the game because I wanted to show you what the lack of patched conics means. Now right now, I have a trajectory that definitely intercepts the moon, and yet it's not telling me that that's going to happen. Without patched conics and without the upgrading to the tracking station tier 1, this is all you're ever going to get, are simple orbital trajectories. And only once you enter, okay, the orbit of a new, enter the sphere of influence of a new body, 
will you get the updated information? This is going to make it really tricky for a lot of people, and I, I'm personally, I'm loving it. But look at this, look at this, there you go. You see that? So now I've just slipped into the moon's uh, sphere of influence. Now I can see what's going to happen at the moon. I really like this. I really like this. It's a new challenge, but I don't think that it's out of the realm of doability for new players. So I'm just going to go ahead and let myself pass by the moon. Goodbye, moon! And see where I end up with my Apple apps, my Perry apps. Okay, I'm about a, just shy of a million out away. Do I have enough Delta V left to lower that Perry apps? Oh, yes I do. Yes I do. Okay, you're coming back to Kerbin. Don't worry, Jebediah. Don't worry, Jebediah. And Jebediah actually managed to return from that patched conicless moon encounter. Good work, Jeb. Welcome back, son. And look, he's gotten one XP, so he's advanced to level one, which gives me the opportunity to show you pilot features. Okay, I sent him right back up in the same ship in order to show off his new skills as a pilot at level one. So, SAS on, and you will find that he now has stability assist, but he also has find retrograde, which he goes to immediately. And if that retrograde tries to change for some reason, if we're encountering atmosphere and it's moving around, Jeb is going to do everything within his power to stay on that retrograde. I can make him hold prograde just as well. So if I want to, um, if I want to say go to the moon right now, okay, again, I line the moon up where I want it, I tell Jeb, get on your prograde, and then I just open up the throttle and let him do all the work until we're at the moon. Very cool new features. Mech Jeb is so, is, is so, uh, 2013. So 2014, we're almost in 2015, and this is the era, this is the era of the true Jebediah Kermans, okay? This is the era of the pilot. But lest I leave you thinking there's nothing but career mode stuff in the new beta, let's go have a look at the new giant Mark III parts from Porkjet in sandbox mode. Werner von Kerman, get off my screen. They want to see the new giant MK3. I've always been pretty good at building space planes, uh, so and shuttles, shuttles especially. So I think I'll be, uh, I can handle this. So there's a little bit of what was that? That was fuselage. No, we need fuel. Do you have any fuel for me? A little fuel fuselage. There you go. It's got some fuel in it, right? Yeah, lots and lots of fuel in that one. Um, what is this? A fuselage short? No, I don't need any short fuselage. What do I need? I need a. Uh, you know what? I could use uh, maybe like a giant MK3 cargo bay. Look at this. Look at the size of this car. I'm gonna put another one on. I'm gonna put a little short one on. There you go. Look at that. Look at how huge that- do you have any idea- no, you don't have any idea how huge that is because I've got nothing in there for scale. Check this out, okay? Look at that. I just fit- look at the size of the stuff you can fit in there. That is an X200 fuel tank that I have just plopped down into- I, I'm not going to take that anywhere though. Let's close these up, okay? Because it's very pretty, but it needs to be closed. Let's, let's put the doors, you know, they don't have your barn door open. I made a space plane! This is it. Huh? Huh? Does it look huge? Does it- no? Because you need a sense of scale. Okay, I'm gonna throw the- Mark 1 cockpit on the nose. There you go. Nice sense of scale for you. There's my space plane. Ah, I should title that, but I'm not going to. Let's go launch it and see if it flies. Okay, well, my space plane does actually sit on the runway. So step one, not exploding on spawn. We got that done. All right, this is the MK3 spacey planey thingy. Um, I think I just got to throttle everything up and hit the go button. Jeb, you're in the pilot seat. Hang on, everybody. Three, two, go. <laughs> Wee, buddy. Okay, get up. No, 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 didn't need that wing. That was an extraneous wing. And that's the MK3 parts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you can do better with them than I did. One more go, one more go, okay? I put on some little wheels so it'll keep the, the, the wings from hitting the ground. Jeb, let's try some SAS this time. Throttle her all the way up and full steam ahead, son. There you go. There you go. This is gonna work. This is gonna work this time. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, you can't, you can't bounce yet. There, oh, 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 oh! Okay. No, no. Eject. 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 Okay, they didn't eject. Sorry, fellas. That's what happens on the Rodin Pawn channel. Okay, listen. It just, it probably just needed struts and a big Big, ugly, weird sort of clipping tail. That's, that's probably all it needed. I'm, I'm not gonna throttle it all the way up this time. Jeb, j just just take her easy, take her easy. Okay, fire, yeah, okay. Little throttle back now, throttle back. We'll just ease up, 
ease up to, to speed where we can actually get flight. Come on, Jeb. Come on, Jeb. I believe in you. Come on. You've got all the struts you need. You've got the big ugly tail. You've got it all. Come on. Come on. You can do it. More speed for you, Jeb. You're coming to the end of the runway, mate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. No, Jeb. That's not up. That was definitely not up. That's it. Okay. No, I know what's broke. Just give me a second. Okay, got it now. Got it. There's just more wings. Okay, that was the thing. More wings and control surfaces and uh, a few more struts. And this time, throttle all the way up, Jeb, and let's, let's go. This is, this is the real deal. Don't do that. Put that back up. Okay, this is the real deal. This one's taking off, everybody. Come on, Jeb. Look at all the speed we've got. We've got to lift off all the control surfaces and wings. Think of just the, the massive uplift that we've got right now. The up, the up. Look, here comes the up. Yes, yes, no, no, we're up though. Hey, we're flying. We're, f okay, we're flying backwards and upside down, but we're flying. We're, okay, Jeb, yeah, that's, that's good. Dude, wow, barrel roll. That's, is that a barrel, no, that's, that's more of a spin out of control lever. That's an aileron sort of death, death, death roll is what that is. Jeb, 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 Jeb. You're very pretty as you're doing this, but. Okay, yeah, may have. Yeah, that's, that's it for me. I am the Ronin Pawn. See you next time. Pawn out. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention everything has biomes. Lots and lots and lots of biomes. Biomes everywhere. Biomes on every single thing, except for Jewel. Jewel, no biomes on, you're not gonna be landing on Jewel anytime soon. You know, you, you probably go through the gas and maybe there's Maybe there's some hidden biomes on there. Biomes everywhere, everybody. Yeah, might have might have wanted to mention that before the end of the video. There you go. Here's your biomes. And the best biomes, okay? The best biomes that you're going to find are right here. So just uh, just land on that and uh, collect you all the science. Pawn out again for reals this time.